Yeah, you got to get ready for the next one, Tuesday night at American Airlines Center. So it's not the outcome the Stars wanted after the first two games here in Vegas, but it doesn't take away from a truly special moment we were able to capture this weekend. A moment a lot of you can understand, the unbreakable bond between parent and child. Yeah, so that one, that's him. Sitting down and spending a few minutes with Brian Harley makes you realize his weekend in Vegas represented more than a chance to see his son Thomas play on the NHL's big stage with the rest of the fans in the stands. He was also Thomas's coach for the first 10 years of his life. I try and support him, but I also kick him in the butt too because that was always my job as his coach. Sometimes he tells me to go <laughs> suck swamp water, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, because he's emotional too. He also said that you tell him sometimes to go suck on swamp water. <laughs> what you what you don't like what do you what he has to say? Uh, I haven't told him that uh, verbatim. Something along the same lines, though. Um, but yeah, those games I play, not quite as well as I would like. Um, I've been known to hang up on him from time to time. The Stars' 2019 first-round pick is only 21 years old and part of the young nucleus of a team that should be really good for years to come. It's hard to imagine he's here when he was the same kid who started skating in a knock-kneed position. I have four children, uh, and they all love hockey, but Thomas loved hockey more than the others. So if I had to have picked any of my four children that would absolutely be here, it would be him. As kids, you know, we all grew up chasing the Stanley Cup, wanting to win it, and we have a real good chance with this uh, with the club in here. And for him to, to come and watch and, and be a part of it is awesome, and I think it's, it's something I'll cherish forever. One person who unfortunately is not here to witness this moment is Thomas's grandfather, Chuck. Thomas's dad's father passed away two weeks ago Monday. His grandfather followed every game, <laughs> you know, and, and obviously his grandson was his pride too. His grandfather watched the last game on the Sunday night uh, in Seattle, the third game. And then uh, fortunately he passed and then Thomas the next night scored his goal and his assist in that next game. So it was special. I didn't aim my shot very well, so I think I had a little up from above on that one. I was just trying to do it for him, make him proud. And now Thomas Harley carries the family pride and the family name onward and upward as a young rising star. This is where Thomas has made it. And I don't know if it's surreal, but it's, it is amazing. Yes, it is. Thomas went up into the stands after today's loss and guess who he chatted with? His dad. Guess who he calls as the first person he speaks to after every game? His father. So, Andy, why should today be any different? 